The differences between tablets and smartphones are actually quite big. Three weeks in the life of iPad development is like six months in the life of print development. Now this is true revolution. Hello folks, my name is Victor Cardoso and I'm Woodwing's Global Product Evangelist. What I've got here for you today are excerpts from three prominent speakers on the topic of lessons learned in tablet publishing. These are excerpts from sessions that were held during Woodwing's Experience Conference uh, back in May of 2011. We hope that you enjoy them and that you keep up to date with us on our blog, on our website, and on our Twitter feed. Thank you very much. So then we go into the essentials. Lesson number seven, start with a clear path to movement and navigation. The most important thing in the design is how you get from here to there. For someone who has designed for print all my life, we design for print for the eye and for the brain. That's the connection. Here you design for the eye, for the finger and for the brain. And I came to that realization uh, little by little, you know. Uh, most designers sit there and, oh, it looks beautiful, and it reads well. Well, here the finger is going to be hungry. And so that is the dynamics that you bring here. This is my sixth uh, app, and I do not want to replicate a newspaper concept anymore. I don't want the little newspaper page. If you didn't do this in 2010, don't do it in 2011 get away from that and that was a conversation i was having with my colleagues this morning in order to get here you first have to go through this session where you say what happened if instead of a 100 year old and nahar we arrive in lebanon to produce something that doesn't exist and you guide the workshop that way there is no newspaper there is no online we arrived here in beirut today to create something that doesn't exist then you will not be having little columns and all of that We have a certain structure within our company which distinguishes between print and online and the funny thing is that with these tablets that distinction doesn't really work. I tend to think that the tablets come very close to print although they have other characteristics too which are also mentioned but let me put it like this we've had some tablet apps made by our online department and most of them were awful. They were websites pushed into a tablet. Now we're you know we're struggling and you know, I think you should also be willing and able to now and then throw some of them away, put them through the shredder. I believe in shortening cycles. You see there the HTML5 thing. Um, what I believe is the, that we should have editorial people from either Viva or Autovec at the same ta table with people that talk HTML5. We managed to make that happen now and then. Those can be confusing or even disturbing get-togethers. It's a very peculiar mix of people. But there, certain really new things happen. If you just leave it to the editorial people or you just leave it to the HTML5 people, I'm exaggerating now, but then it's not likely that there will be really new things. If you scale, re reuse code and so on, that you know, we have used parts of the Cosmo app from Russia in the Autowake app in the Netherlands and other things. That's, it's just a very simple thing. It, it increases speed and reduces cost. And I was happy to see it in the previous presentation, I think it was Eric's, on the uh, analytics tools. I, we were big believers in measuring everything. We measured the actual movements of the finger, sometimes of eyes. We looked how long people read in certain, art, certain articles and how they then jump through the app and jump from an article to a uh, advertisement and so on and so on. We measure everything. We launch uh, on April 3rd, um, and it's you know the most downloaded magazine app in the first 24 hours. And timing felt very, very strongly, and I think this was true across the magazine industry in the United States, that we were not going to price this thing the way other digital media is priced. And the rationale for that was, this is 100% of the magazine plus 20% extra content. So it's actually a really, really good deal. That's how our business people thought of it. Our users looked at it and got angry. And so 
you saw this from one magazine, not just Time Incorporated, it was every magazine that came out on the iPad, one after another, they all got one star reviews. And when you read what the reviewer said, the reviewer said, the app is fine, but five dollars? Five dollars for this? You've got to be out of your minds. That's crazy. You know, because for five dollars, you can buy five games, you know, you can buy Angry Birds for a dollar, and Angry Birds is going to give you 50 or 60 hours worth of entertainment. And that was the, the bar. That was the bar that we had to, to jump over. Now, in fairness to the magazine industry, there was always the assumption that we would be able to sell subscriptions, right? In, in the US, the subscription business is greatly discounted off of the individual newsstand price. And so the assumption was, all right, even if we price it at five bucks per a la carte issue, the subscription will be, you know, more like $30 for the year, and it will really just be an incentive to subscribe. But Apple initially said no subscriptions. So we were stuck for months in this really terrible place uh, of only offering the magazine at a price that was way too high for people to actually pay. And it was a problem, I would submit, and created a longer standing problem because it just made a lot of one star reviews. So that when people come out and they think, should I take a look at this magazine, and they see that there's a one star, they think, eh, there must be a problem here. But the price led to a bad rating, and then the bad rating st started to become the conversation. And I think um, it's something that everyone needs to be very, very aware of. At the outset, and I'll say one more thing about price and ratings, when magazine companies started to price it like that, we heard through an intermediary, Jar Jobs was incensed. He said, you know, are you guys crazy? This is an impulse buy. All of your products ought to be priced at a dollar um, because it's something that nobody thinks about. It was food for thought.